Well, um, God, uh, Janet, I, I was thinking about the shaking that God was showing me about, and I remembered that um, before every great revival or outpouring, there was a shaking. And I remembered the, the story in Acts 2 in the upper room, there was a shaking um, before for, for the outpouring and, and, and the great harvest of souls that followed. And um, in I think it was about two or three weeks after the lockdown where God gave me another dream and, and it was about a birthing. And um, I won't go through the, the details of the dream, but but the, in the dream, um, the interpretation was that God is doing a new thing and a new thing is going to come forth because um, life, it's no longer business as usual. Um, we see that everything has changed around us and um, God is going to bring forth a company of prophetic people, apostolic people that are going to come forth in unity. It will no longer be a one-man show. It will no longer be people who seek to build their own ministries, but they will hear from heaven and through the unity a synergy will come and a great power will come and 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 the church will become the solution this church will have the strategy the church will have the answer and i see out of that great miracles will flow and not only physical healings but financial miracles i see that people are going to be set free i see waves of healing even in south africa that god is going to do mighty things and I see that there's going to come stability uh, uh, eventually in our flailing economy. But I just feel that I was so encouraged that, that God is doing a new thing. And he's been speaking that to us for quite some time, that there's going to come a movement that's bigger than the four walls of the church, that is bigger than a political party. And people are going to recognize this unity and this flow in the spirit. And if we align, and we align with him and with each other. I do believe there has to come greater alignment in this season. It's a it's it's a it's a season of asking God what is valuable to him, what is his heart. And God showed me it will be an emphasis of family once again. In this time, we are forced to spend time with our families. It's a time of family restoration. God is restoring covenant. And God gave me that scripture in Psalms that um, that he will show us covenant and his deep inner mean, meaning, Psalm 25 verse 4. And that God is going to just um, um, put his stamp on the people who revere him and who, who, who walk in covenant with him and with each other. And so I'm excited. I do believe there's a great awakening coming and that I want to be a part of it and I'll do whatever it takes to be a part of it. And God is just speaking to me in terms of getting rid of the things that, that hampered me in the last season so that I can be a vessel unto him. And the things that took me up in the past that I will, I'll deal with those issues, repent, come clean before him, purify my heart before him so that I can become who he wants me to be in the next season. Amen. 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 And it's really understanding the times and the seasons, just as Issachar understood the times and the seasons, and knowing how to change, make those internal changes, okay, as we are members of his body, members of his global body. So I'd like to just bring in Annalie now, and she's going to share exactly what God is saying to her. 